What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. I'm back with another live stream. Um, by the title, you guys probably already guessed what I'm gonna be talking about, and that is the fact that I am going to be starting, you know, my entire music career over from the ground up. And it's not that I want to start over from the ground up, it's that I pretty much am needing to. And the reason for that is because a lot of these record labels, as I've mentioned before, who are pretty much bashing on me and ripping on me and will not stop. So, you know, I'm basically starting everything over from the ground up, new name. You know, new label, new everything. Hey, what up, Angel? But, it's not that I, like I said, it's not that I want to start over. It's that I'm pretty much being forced to. And the way that I'm being forced to is because everything connected to my original, you know, name or names is pretty much, you know, giving me a bad image all around. So, you know, I want to do it right, you know. As I showed you guys in my last live stream, I do all my own samples. I do all my own work. So, you know. But honestly, like, I just feel like I need to start over. As I said, you know, it's not that I want to start over, it's that I am pretty much being forced to because of these record labels and what they're saying. Yes, I know you guys have known me as Shadowblade for the longest time. And, you know, you guys, that's all you guys have ever known me as. But honestly, I feel like it's time for me to make a new image for myself, start over fresh, and go from there. Um, whenever I do start up my record label, you know, I'm going to be doing it right because I found out a lot of mistakes that I've made. Because I've been doing a lot of studying today and researching over the last couple of days on how to do it right. And I, you know, found out I did make a lot of rookie mistakes. What up, Amber? What's going on, sis? So, you know, I am, like I said, starting my music career over from the ground up. For those of you that do want to sign the, to the record label once I get that up and going, you will have to pay a entrance fee of $10. Oh, cool. But... Like I said, you know, for those of you that do want to sign to my record label, it will be $10. You know, five of that will go to me, but the rest of it will go towards, you know, promoting your guys' stuff. If you're an artist and you're very serious about it and you want to record, you know, it'll be $10 for a beat. Because as you guys know, I do, you know, create my own stuff, and, you know, I do need to make money somewhere, you know, so, you know, it'll be $10 a track, um, with hooks, like, you know, with, like, hooks and melodies and stuff like that, like, actual vocal work, that'll be another 10, so that'll be 20 bucks if you guys want beats with hooks or without it as i said you know that's 10 bucks in itself um i know that i'm charging a bit much for the track but if you think about it you guys are getting a good deal because most people out there would make you pay 30 40 100 bucks but me i'm doing it as cheap as i can and there's one thing that was taught to me in my past 
by somebody, and his name is Jeff Barrelero, also known as Soldier Hard. He is the, like, literally the main artist and founder of Redcom One Music Group. And in one of his songs, he makes a very good point to say that, you know, free never, you know, free never paid the bills. I've got mouths to feed. And it's completely true to the T, you know? Like, I've got to make money. And it's obvious that I'm not going to get anywhere with all these record labels bashing on me. I'm not going to be able to sign to them. So I'm going to have to do it myself and start over from the ground up. But if I do start over from the ground up, guys, I need you all to take me seriously. I need you guys to promote my stuff. I need you guys to share it around. You know, let any artist that you know of that does music, no matter what style they do, let them know, hey, you know, I need, you know, I need you guys to shoot them my way. Say, so, you know, I am looking for serious artists who take their music careers like I take mine very seriously. What up, Chris? What up, CJ? Alright, Sam, my bad, dude. I thought you were my boy, CJ. What's good, man? And trust me, dude, I am. I'm definitely keeping that in mind, you know? And that's, you know... That's pretty much what I'm doing is I'm basically starting from the ground up. Um, you know, like I said, you know, a lot of my beats that you guys have heard, you know, I've, you know, done as simple. Like, you guys have heard my stuff. You know, I don't do that intricate stuff. Like, that's just not my style. I believe in challenging the artist in the simplest way possible. And the simplest way to challenge them Give them a simple beat. Because it is a proven fact that the simplest beats are some of the hardest to do. Because it makes you think outside the box and it forces you to switch it up every now and then. It forces you to do stuff, you know, vocally and flow and lyrics wise to do stuff that you've never really may have not done before. Alright, definitely, dude. Um, as a matter of fact, CN, um, shoot me a message, man. And I actually have something that... I got something in mind. Give me just a minute to pull it up. I'm gonna see what I can do here. Because I do have some club-type stuff. You know, I do everything from dubstep, club-type music. Um, you know, more notably, you know, my simple rap beats. So I'm pretty sure I got something for you. Let's see. Here's what I did not long. Actually, I did this like literally like late last night. This is actually called Virus Detected. It's more of a clubby, you know, dance type feel. And this is actually inspired by one of my favorite electronic groups. Um, XRX. Dude, that's right on my, dude, that's right on my alley. Dope stuff is what I do best. Thank you. 
recently that my good buddy um, Enoch is actually working on so you guys might get something out of this too I haven't played this one yet this is like for the first level of the game check it By the way, CN, if you haven't added me yet, do it. Alright, okay, Crystal, if you haven't added me yet, go ahead and do it. I don't know if I have you added or not, but if you haven't, go ahead and add me. Like, here's a club beat that I did not that long ago. This is like one of the first ones I did when I first popped back in. Alright. What up, Nathan? These are all brand new, dude. I just started these a couple days ago in FL Studios. guys may not have heard before and if you did you guys already know what I'm about to pop off here which is let's see if I can find it here yeah all right here's a melodic song that I don't have fully done yet that I am working on I want you guys to listen to this all the way through now let me know what you guys think, you know, like, if you guys know anybody that does do, you know, metal screams or any kind of vocals at all, let me know. I'm about to play this shit for y'all. It's called Enter the Light. Like, I took some old stuff I did and kind of ran with it. So Thank you. 
Nice. Hey, Crystal, I just PM'd you. And for those of you wondering, like, what's going on with me relationship-wise, yes, I am currently single. No, I'm not seeing anybody yet. Oh yeah, definitely, dude. message from a fan just now on my YouTube. So, if you guys know anybody by the name of Angelica V-A-U-R, if that's you and you're watching this right now, shout out to you for sure. I will be following you back. Nice. I'm about to play something by my good buddy Chad here that he recommended for me. So, shout out to you, Chad. Shout out to Redcon Ward, NSA Entertainment. Um, yes, I can. I've actually got it on the computer right now. I'm going to be pulling it up right now for you, dude. So, you know, and while I'm in the process of pulling that stuff up, you know, I definitely do want to take the time to give a huge shout out to Redcon One Music Group. Um, especially Stephen Hobbs, man. He definitely has been watching my stuff and commenting. And, you know, and those positive comments that, you know, he has left, you know, does keep me going. So, shout out, shout out, major shout out to you, man. Like, for sure, dude. And shout out to, you know, any military music artist out there, shout out to our military for sure. You know how it works with me. Let me see if I can pull these up. If it'll let me. Hopefully it will and not be a dick about it. Alright, give me just a minute here, guys. I'm going to have to re-bring up Facebook. My computer wants to be a dick right now, but... Definitely. And hey, like I said, Crystal, you know, I did PM you. I did message you, so hit me back up for sure. And trust me, dude, I'm pretty sure I won't, man. Because knowing you, man, you always leave me to some cool shit. Like, you never fail to do that, like, at all. But as I said, guys, you know, like... And, you know, and that's one thing about me that a lot of people and a lot of you might not know is that I've never drank or smoked or done any kind of drugs. And the reason for that is because my dad drank, he smoked, and he does do drugs, unfortunately. And because of him doing that, that ruined our, well, my relationship with him and with each other, as well as a lot of my friends from high school, um... 
you know, my good friend Brian Hildebrand, he unfortunately fell into drugs. Hey, <laughs> no problem. No, nah, it's because of my computer, dude. My computer is literally 10 plus years old, so I am trying to save up for a new one. And, you know, like I said, guys, you know, if you guys know me and my relationship status-wise... You know, a lot of people do wonder about that, about why I do bounce between every so often. And as I've said in the past, it's because they like to mess with me and screw me over and all that BS. So, and hey, like I said, Crystal, you know, I just PM'd you, so, you know, get back to me. Um, message me, like, as soon as you get on in the morning or first chance you get. Cause, you know, I definitely would, you know, like to, you know, sit down and maybe even get to know you a little bit better than what I do now, you know? I think that'd be really awesome. Hang on, guys. I am, unfortunately, going to have to shut down this and restart it. Because it is freezing up on me, so give me just a minute to restart. It won't take too long, I promise. This thing's old as shit. I do apologize for all the delays, but you know. Hell yeah, man, for sure. Hold on, guys. Let me, let me respond to Crystal real quick. Alright, there we go guys. Sorry about that. I was responding to Crystal, so. And, you know, and I gotta admit guys, you know, it really is nice to see, you know, all my best friends here and one chat. Chat, this is literally like my best friend in the entire fucking world right here. This is Angel. Angel, this is one of my really good friends. He's He was in the military. He's ex-military. You know, an amazing dude. He's very supportive. This is Chad, Chad, Angel, Angel, Chad. There you go. Y'all know each other. I know. I'm a smart ass. <laughs> if you don't know that by now, how do you not know that I'm a smart ass? But, like I said, I am going to be coming out with some new sounds, um, new beats, new sounds. I'm going to be changing everything up. I am going to keep that style, the, that experimental style between chill wave patterns and dubstep drops. I am keeping that, but a lot of the other stuff I've done, I'm pretty much, you know, scrapping that. Starting from the ground up, rebuilding everything. So, you know. Okay, just a minute to bring this all up, yo, and do this. And, uh, and that's one thing a lot of people don't, like, they do know about it, but they don't realize it because I don't show it. And that's the fact that I'm an army brat, born and raised. My dad was actually 82nd Airborne Division, you know, United States Army, paratrooper. 
Staff Sergeant. So, you know, granted he's been retired for some time now, but, you know. And a lot of people wonder why I wear these different colored, you know, camouflage, you know, bandanas a lot of the time, or more notably my Japanese one. Well, the reason why I have my Japanese one is because a while back when I first started out, I actually had a very big fan who still to this day I keep in good contact with. He always spreads my stuff wherever he goes over there. Um, I haven't talked to him in quite some time because of a lot of stuff that he's going through with college and whatnot. But he was actually awesome enough to send me this, which I'll show you guys in a minute if I can find the damn thing. There we go. But. The one day he was actually awesome enough to send me this in the mail. And it is actually a Japanese It's actually a traditional Japanese flag bandana in my color. So he actually had that custom made for me because he knew what my colors were he knew what I was representing at the time so shout out to you man if you are watching this um, I don't know if he has Facebook or not I'll need to see but um, I can't exactly remember his name like right off the bat because I've gained so many fans over the time but if I can find his email and email him you know I'll definitely you know see if he has Facebook on here so you guys can talk to him as well so, you know, I definitely do, you know, hold this, you know, very close to me because, you know, it is from a dear friend of mine and a huge fan who's, you know, supported me since day one. But, uh... You know, and I definitely do want to get some merchandise out there. And for those of you that don't know, I do have a Rage On account. Just go to the search bar and type in DK Customs. That's capital D, capital K, Customs. That's me. You guys can go on there, buy the stuff. The cheapest thing you guys can buy is for 25 bucks, which is the t-shirts. They're all custom made. So everything in there is custom made by me, as well as a good friend of mine, Danny Poison, who is the lead head artist for Ubisoft, which is a very huge gaming company. Um, they've created several, you know, amazing game titles and series. Like, just to name a few, they've done the entire Splinter Cell series. Um, they've done Tomb Raider. They've done... More notably, one of my personal favorites, um, the Assassin's Creed series. So, you know, I'm definitely a huge Assassin's Creed fan. And yes, I did get some insider scoops on the new one, but I can't tell you guys about it. I swore to secrecy on that. All I can say is that it takes place in Cairo, Egypt. That is the only thing I can say. I've checked out some of the artwork and I'm very impressed with the direction they're going with it. So shout out to Danny and major shout out to Ubisoft. I can't wait for that game to release. I'm definitely excited for that. But, uh... But if you guys do not have my Rage On store link, I will be posting it in the description up there where you guys know where the description is. I don't need to say it. But, you know, I will be posting my merchandise store up there. As I said, you know, me and Danny sat down. He helped me create some of the merchandise in there, like the blue shoes that are in there, which are like, I think like 74 bucks, 70 some odd dollars. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely check it out, like for sure. 
but you know like I said like all I do during the day is I work on my stuff like if I'm not promoting my you know my shop I'm usually on FL Studios or Loop Labs or wherever and working on my stuff that's what I do like literally I wake up in the morning I grab coffee I grab breakfast and I sit down and I put in work all day every day I don't take any breaks granted once I can get a weird remote I will start doing my gaming live streams like I know a lot of you liked in the past so I am gonna be bringing that back once I can get a new Wii remote so now I'm definitely excited to be doing that again Hell, love you too, Crystal. I'm taking it easy. And hey, Crystal, um, before you go, I will be sending you my official YouTube account for my, you know, my old one. But that's the one that has everything on it. It has, you know, my SoundCloud, my Instagram, my Facebook fan page, and also my Rage On online store so I will be sending you the link to my official YouTube channel um, I do have another one called CJLW vlogs which I have not posted on in a while which I probably need to do that but that's where I do like you know all my vlogs and updates and everything like that of that nature but I will be sending you my official YouTube channel to you crystal so you can you know, check out all my stuff, what I've got. Um, I've done some pretty interesting stuff in the past. Like, I've actually taken, if you guys know the movie Fifth Element, the Diva song, I actually took and did a sped up remix version of that, which that was actually a lot of fun to do. I really enjoyed it. You know, Fifth Element is definitely, you know, one of my more favorite movies for that genre of music because they use it in such an incredible way but I've done my own remix of the Lost Woods song from the Legend of Zelda series and yes I am a major Zelda nerd I love the Legend of Zelda series the only ones actually the only one I have not played yet is Hyrule Warriors, which I want to play that so bad. I definitely want to play Hyrule Warriors. And the newest Zelda game that just released, I am, you know, looking forward to playing Breath of the Wild. Alright, not a problem, Greg. Take it easy, brother. But, as I said, guys, you know, I am starting from the ground up. You know, I'm redoing, you know, my whole thing. I'm basically re-bringing back my image, all brand new. So, you know. Yeah, let me put on a little noise for y'all. Like if you guys are wondering what's on right now, it is actually Catfish on MTV. Huge fan of the show, love the show. And you know, believe it or not, that show actually has made me aware of a lot of stuff that I was not aware of before. So, if by some godly chance, you know, Max and me, if you guys are watching this, major shout out to you guys, major shout out to Catfish, love the show. I have not, I cannot say I have not missed an episode of that show yet, I've seen literally every single episode from start to finish to where we're at now yeah it's a really good show it's one that i can definitely you know watch like i don't care if it's a rerun or not you know i always get something new from it every time and if you guys are wondering you know when catfish comes on it's usually on mtv on wednesdays at 10 p.m they usually do new episodes on those nights, which I'm currently watching right now while talking to y'all. So, and it's literally just starting too, so this is perfect time. I get to kick it with y'all, watch some catfish, play Chad's work, which I am going to be doing that, Chad, so give me just a minute to try and get this up.
need to. Whoa. Kind of like Sunset? Yeah, we'd love to. Okay, so this whole story is it's complicated. Very. Walk us through all the key moments. So I was on team chat, just sort of browsing the message boards. I was entering junior high. I didn't have very many friends. I had problems opening up to people. You saw what I was writing in the message boards. Right. If interested in me, private Well, I'm bringing up SoundCloud, guys. I am going to, you know, pop by. We slowly start oh, shit. Okay. Last time I saw this DJ, she blew my mind. It was like Sonic Cabin, and let me travel the world at the speed of sound. With helmets and buckle your seatbelts for DJ Leilani. Yeah, he was very sweet and caring, and I felt like I could sort of tell him my secrets and my issues, and he would always be very supportive of me. We were already. Alright guys, give me just a minute. We should try and meet and be together. And then one day he just disappeared. He was just gone. I was heartbroken. Alright, give me just a minute guys. I am gonna play that track that Chad sent to me. I am gonna check out you know his one friend. I'm gonna break real quick for just a minute. Grab a coffee, a thing of coffee, that way I can, you know, keep going. And I'll be right back. And while I'm on break, here y'all go. A little bit of catfish for you. I'll be right back, y'all. Alright, what up guys, I'm back. We gotta see this guy. I mean, he must be super good looking. You're willing to put up with all this BS. Alright. Alright, let's check this track out. This is by DJ Lelani. Let's check this out. Last time I saw this DJ, she blew my mind. It was like Sonic Cabin, and let me travel the world at the speed of sound. With helmets and buckle your seatbelts for DJ Leilani. Alright, I like the intro. That's dope. I like that intro a lot. That's sick. That's sick as shit. I like that intro. That's freaking hot. Sorry, I was just sitting there watching catfish and laughing at what they're doing. Yo, this is definitely sick. I like this. What up, Omar? <laughs> hey, yo. Omar, what is good, bro? And if you guys don't know who Omar is, he's actually related to, you know, my now past best friend who is literally like my brother. He's actually related to Zachariah Hussein. So shout out to you, Omar. Shout out to your family, bro. Shout out to Abu. Shout out to the entire Hussein family. Love you guys. Miss y'all. Can't wait to hang with you guys again. Yo, I'm digging this. This is dope, man. 
Definitely shout out to you, Chapman. This is sick. I like it. This is actually really good. It's got a sick vibe to it. I love it. Yo, this is dope. I like this. That's actually really good. I like it. Props to DJ Leilani, dude. Like, for fucking sure. This is hot. I'm seriously digging this beat. Yo, that's dope. Definitely shout out to DJ Leilani. Like, that was sick. For real, man, like that was dope. Ooh, that actually sounds good. But, with that being said, guys, um, starting tomorrow, like I said, I am going to be redoing everything tonight. So, hopefully, by tomorrow, I will have a new name for myself. New everything, new YouTube. I'm starting over from the ground up. Um, the only thing I am not getting rid of is my Instagram and my my Ray John store because you know obviously I have to promote that. But as I said, guys, you know if you go to my YouTube channel, my Ray John store is then my about up on my channel art. You know all my links are up there. Y'all can check it out. Um, but yeah. Well, with that being said, guys, I am going to hop off here for the night. Um, I am going to work on some new tracks, kick it with a couple people like Angel, Chad, Crystal. So, with that being said, y'all, I will catch you guys bright and early tomorrow morning, and I'll catch you guys later, man. Much love to everybody who watched this. You know, I love every single one of you guys who watches this. And with that being said, I'm out, guys. Peace.